Hello, I hope you are all doing well. In this lesson, I will show you how to classify images using Google Net, a pre trained convolutional neural network. Let's get started. To keep things organized, create a folder and name it Image Classification. Then launch the MATLAB. Now click on this Browse for Folder icon. Locate the folder we created a minute ago and click on this Select Folder button. Now the folder is opened in our current folder window. Now click on this New Script and save it as image underscore classification at the very beginning write clear all to avoid unexpected errors we are going to take images using webcam in order to access the webcam from matlab we need a support package it is known as matlab support package for USB webcams. Type webcam in the command window and hit enter. It will show an error message if the package is not installed. Click on this add-on explorer and install this support package. Click on I accept and the installation process will start. The installation is complete. Now we can close this window. Now type webcam to access the webcam. Let's store the webcam object in a variable named the camera. Now we need to load the Google Net. In order to use the Google Net, we have to install an add-on that is Deep Learning Toolbox model for Google Net Network. Type Google Net in the command window and hit enter. If it shows an error message, it means that the add-on is not installed. Click on this Add-on Explorer, then click on this install button click on i accept button and the installation process will start the installation is complete now close this window close the add-on explorer as well now we can load the google net simply by typing Google Net. Let's store it in a variable named the network. Every convolutional neural network has a specific input size. To classify an image using that network, we must have to resize the image according to the size of the input layer of the network. That is why we need to know the size of the input layer of this network. To do that, first write the name of the network. In our code, it is the network. Then use dot layers to access the layer. The first layer of the network is the input layer. That is why type 1 here to access the first layer only. However, we do not want to know everything about the first layer. We only want to know about the input size. Actually, we want to know the height and the width of the input layer. That is why type 1 colon 2. It means the height and the width of the input layer. Now this will return 
the size of the input layer. Let's store it in a variable named required input size. Now run the program. Here we can see the size of the input layer. We are going to capture a snapshot from webcam now. First, type figure so that we can see what we are capturing. Then use the snapshot function to capture the snapshot. This function requires the webcam object as an argument. We have stored the webcam object in this variable. Let's copy it and paste it here. Now this function will return a snapshot. Let's store it in a variable named single image. Using the image function, we can show this image. We have already learned that the size of the image must be equal to the size of the input layer of the convolutional neural network. We use imResize function to resize an image. It takes two arguments. The first argument is the image we want to resize. It is the single image. Let's copy it and paste it here. The second argument is the size we want to resize this image into. We know the size is stored in this variable. Let's copy it and paste it here. Now this function will return the resized image. Let's store it in the single image variable. It is time to classify what we have in this single image. To do it, we use classify function. It requires two arguments. The first argument is the network we are going to use to classify the image. It is D network. And the second argument is the image itself. Now this function will return the name of the predicted item and the probability of the prediction. Let's store these values in predicted item and probability variable. Then use the title function to show the predicted name of the item and the probability of the prediction. Use char function to show the name of the predicted item. And then use num to string function to show the probability. We want to show the maximum probability. That is why write max here. And we want precision up to two decimal points. Then enclose this section with a set of curly brackets. Our code is ready. Let's run the code. This is the mouse I'm using now. The code could recognize the mouse with 76% confidence. This is how you can easily classify images using Google Net. That's all for this lesson. We used a single snapshot and classified the object from there. What about classifying objects continuously? That means the webcam will keep running and whatever it sees, it will try to classify it. This is exactly what we are going to learn in the next lesson.